Good morning, I'm Guy McPherson with the Nature Bats Last YouTube channel and also Nature Bats Last blog at guymcpherson.com. It seems Andrew Glickson has some company. I've been reporting for a few years from Glickson's October 9th, 2020 book, The Event Horizon. And you can find this information online, as I've indicated previously. This is the Chapter 5 abstract for the book, The Event Horizon, again, by Andrew Y. Glickson. You can find it on page 31 of his book. And here's the signature line. During the Anthropocene, greenhouse gas forcing has risen by more than 2.0 watts per meter squared, equivalent to more than 2C above pre-industrial temperatures. End quote. So that's a big deal. And now it seems that Glickson has some company. I don't know why we ever paid attention to 2C because that number comes from an economist, William Nordhaus, who years later was awarded the Nobel Prize in Economics in 2018. And he warned about increasing the global average temperature 2 to 3 degrees C above the 1750 baseline. In any event, now we have not only Andrew Glickson, we also have information that came to me from Regan Parenton, my online acquaintance, and came to him through Leon Simons. Leon Simons has published several papers with James Hansen and other colleagues. This information comes from NASA, Ceres, EBAF, TOA, I don't even know what that is, and several other sources, but we'll include the information online. This is globally absorbed solar radiation, and as you can see, there's a considerable increase most notably within the last few years. So they, it's unclear to me whether they're using this average from 2000 to 2009, as they indicate here in the subtitle, 2000 to 2009. It's unclear whether using this as the baseline and this is the rise that is more than 2C above this baseline. It's just a little unclear whether they're talking about this as the baseline or the 1750 baseline. In either case, two things are really important about this figure. One, the profound rapid increase in a very short period of time of global average temperature. And two, regardless of whether it happened in 2000 to 2009 or the 1750, the more common baseline, the increase in global average temperature that that comes above that two degrees C mark that we've been warned about for a long time. Now, I don't know why we ever paid attention to an economist, a member of the global, the dismal science, as economics is frequently called. Nordhaus was awarded the 2018 Nobel Prize in Economics for warning about 2 to 3 C, about the 1750 baseline, many years ago. Why didn't we pay attention to the Advisory Group on Greenhouse Gases when, in the last year of its existence, they warned about 1 C above the 1750 baseline? Well, that's neither here nor there. In any event, the, the take-home message here is that it's not just Andrew Y. Glickson and the peer-reviewed information he has been referring to for a few years. It's also Leon Simons, noted global change scientist from the Netherlands, and also the stunning number of governmental agencies he references. So this is a big deal for those of you who are still claiming that we need to worry about 1.5C, that we still need to worry about passing 1.5C or 2C above the 1750 baseline. Stop worrying. We're already past all of those so-called warning points that we've been warned about for far too long. As Edward Abbey wrote, Southwestern American writer Edward Abbey wrote, if the situation is hopeless, there's nothing to worry about. Well, that's where we are. The situation is hopeless. We are in the midst of abrupt and irreversible climate change, more abrupt than at any time in planetary history, including the 
interstellar body that struck Earth and drove the dinosaurs to extinction about 60 million years, it's about 66 million years ago. So this is huge. Humans collectively are driving an enormous increase in global average temperature that is almost certainly going to drive our species and all others to extinction. I'm not happy about this, but that's where we're headed. And the information keeps pouring in to support that conclusion. So there you have it. You're all updated on your science. Have a great day.